So after the whole rioting, the Capitol, all that shit, I actually, I, I didn't believe this is true, but Donald Trump got like fucked in, in the social and internet realm fucking ban on Twitter, Facebook, all that shit, man. And it's just like, whoo, he done fucked up, man. That's just fucking whack ass, man. You know, I, I, I did not even expect it, man. I don't think no one expected this after the fucking, like, he fucking encouraged it because I watched the speech. And I'm over here like, like, okay, so when Trump gave a speech and everything, like, people were, like, talking about it. So I want to know what it was. So I watched it, right? And this fucker, okay, so, like, he indirectly, look, I, look, like, I don't want to start shit, but, like, you have to admit, if you watch the video, he he indirectly encouraged the right the rioting at the Capitol, indirectly. It's just the way that he worded it that people think, oh yeah, let's all go to the Capitol, even though the Capitol is a government property. And what the fuck is the government even doing, bro? Fucking like, how do they let people riot in the Capitol, man? Where were the police, the security force, man? But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about internet censorship of how they banned literally Trump from all social media websites and everything. And it's just, people are complaining. It's just like, oh, that's just like freedom of speech, man. You're violating like the First Amendment and shit. Oh, yeah. But like, I watched an Optimus video, really great YouTuber in my opinion, and he made the point clear and to some people that also think like this and it really opened my eyes a little bit technically if the if the companies are not obliged to the law that's not technically violating the first amendment so if by example if like let's say facebook was just with the government and all that shit yes they will have to incorporate the same amendments to the social media platform if it's like i don't know something to do with the government like owning it or something like that like hey you're allowed to have this unless we run it something like that but mark zuckerberg and fucking jeff bezos all those guys you know th those are their shit they can do whatever they want because they created it they can literally do what they want on their platform unless that the government literally told them hey you need to ban donald trump then you know what like what are the what are they what are the, what is that person going to do are they going to literally back are they literally just going to, like, stand up to the government? No, they're just going to get pegged by the government, just how we are from this world that we're living in. They're literally just going to get butt down straight into a deep end pegging from the government, and they say, yo, ban Trump, and they have to, man. Like, that's a whole different story if it's like they just did it out of, out of their own free will, but... But then again, it's not really tied to the government, the whole Bill of Rights and for uh, and then the First Amendment to like, you know, say shit, whatever you want. Like, I think he gave an example of like if you invite someone over and they say, um, fuck your mom, you have the right because they're in your property and everything to kick them out of your house. And that's what we are like right now in social media. We th technically free free speech is kind of there but the people who run the platforms they can literally do whatever they want because you're on their platforms they created it from their own rules not really from the government from themselves so technically like it is sort of kind of like internet censor it's kind of like censoring people from the internet i feel like it's literally controlling like yeah Optimus says like it's controlling like what we have our banking accounts our medical informations and all that shit and it's just like we're gay we're we're, we're literally advancing a technology that there is no way in the next couple couple of years i'll say i'll predict maybe 10 to 20 years uh in 10 to 20 years we're we're gonna be so far into technology that there is no way that we can't use it in our everyday necessity we use our phones for pretty much anything for notes for alarms for phone for phone calls for texting and all that stuff man we're we're getting really far into it but like with internet session internet censoring ship i mean like do i think things should be censored from the internet yes some things but not all but if like someone makes like a like a tweet that's a or a comment that's against what the 
policies of Facebook or something, and they decided, oh yeah, I didn't like what you had to say, boop, then yes, to the outside, that looks like it's like violating free speech, but then again, at the end of the day, that's their platform that they created, and they can literally do whatever they want to it, so it's not I, it's not technically internet it is technically censorship but like it's not at the same time if you understand it like i don't know man that's just that's just what i think it is i i like any any day now like you can literally just get banned off the website and it's really not from free speech or anything it's just from their platforms that they created i don't know just let me know what you guys think down in the comment sections if not that's okay with me but anyways ladies and gentlemen my name is Edgar C39, and I hope you all have a wonderful morning, night, day, evening, whatever the occasion is, and I will see you all, lovely ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. Later.